Okay, so here we go. As the title says, uh, it's true, I broke it. And uh, I just wanted to share, um, this is actually the second time I filmed this. The first time I was, whoa, pretty unhappy. And uh, calmed down a little bit. It's about three days ago I did this. As you can see, there's a big hole in the side. That's just the start of the problems right there. And the biggest problem that happened here, what I was doing, is I was putting oak branches in the shredding chute, uh, which it clearly says not to do. It, is, it says don't put any branches in there, but really, really fine branches is no problem, or really soft branches uh, is no problem. But I was putting like one inch oak branches in there. And at one point it blew, blew the side out, as you can see here. And I have that piece, and that piece right here. Uh, so when that happened, I was just, and that's where I stand actually, and it did get me. Um, it got into my uh, shin, but I don't want to show that. But when that happened, I just kind of backed up a little bit. I normally stand right here, so I just started standing back there, thinking there's no problem. I should be able to just get that back on there somehow with, uh, gosh, even just a sheet metal patch. So I kept going, and uh, that was the mistake because, oh, it got far worse. Let me come around to the other side here and show you. Let me flip it around here. Okay. There's what really happened. And this was quite a while later. I was shredding for a good half hour, and then just all of a sudden everything stopped. And I couldn't figure out why until I looked down here. And it just plain ripped it wide open. And um, peeled it back. It looks like a bomb went off. Like, look down here though. It ripped it out of the bottom as well. Isn't that crazy? Let me zoom back a little bit. So, yeah, and I was standing, like, right there, so I got really lucky. Really, really lucky. I think you call that dodging a bullet. So, anyway, there's all kinds of damage on this thing. And, um, it's not just the outer shell. Let's show here. Look at that. So let me get back up here. Because about two feet in front of it, and I call this the front, uh, when I was cleaning up later, like right about here on the ground in front of it, I found the, I found the, the blade. And look at the bend on it. And the big chunks taken out of it. And look at that, one of the bolts is still in, and the other bolt is not, and so it, and this is the bracket that holds it on, ripped it right off the flywheel. So that's a major concern, I mean, you talk about dodging a bullet, it came out, and it was on the ground two feet in front of it, so like, right about there. But if this had blown out on the other side where I was standing, like if it had blown out over here, um, that could have gotten me. And so, yeah, you know, you learn your lesson. There's, there's a reason why they say, I mean, there was a big door here originally, a safety door. And what that said right on it is said leaves only, which, you know, leaves or very small twigs would be fine. So if you put the big, thick, um, oak branches in there. And the reason why I was putting them in there, oak branches don't grow straight, so they weren't they weren't going in the chipper chute. And, and I was just in a rush. And uh, that's what happened. And I know a lot of you guys are going to say I told you so and all that. But if you, uh, you know, I'll put up with a little bit of it, but if you all get out of hand, I'll just disable the comment section. But now down in here you see major damage. The flywheel of course is now missing its blade. 
and there's damage to the flywheel and damage to the impellers and the little fingers down there. There's a bolt down there. So, yeah, this was really, really bad. Look at the sunlight coming in, that's no good. And the big hole there. But the flywheel is still there. What I'm, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna take all these bolts off the front and I'm gonna take the front off so that we can examine the flywheel better and uh, see where we go from here. Okay, so that took some doing, but we got it apart. It didn't come apart like it normally does because all the bolts and all the, the studs are all bent and all out of whack. You ended up having to use that big crowbar back there. But now that we got it open, we can take a closer look at how bad it is. And it's pretty bad. And it's pretty much total loss um, in there. These are, these are all the pieces that came out of it. Now those are not only bolts that are sheared off, but the, um, well those are bolt heads. For example, this would, is what the other side of that would look like the bolt and the nut and then the head of it is uh, flush and so that's what those are it's a whole bunch of those just sheared clean off the other bracket that is the other bracket that holds on the main shredding blade um, there's the other one and uh, as it turns out they were part of the flywheel. It appears as though they were on right there and right there. Sheared clean off. So it's not like something that can be put back on. And uh, yeah, the hammers are all bent. Let me get down here. These are the uh, hammer assemblies. Swing around and uh, they're supposed to go in between these fingers here. And uh, between the two of them, that's what shreds everything up. That plus the blade. And uh, so it hits everything in between those when it's free to do so. And then you have a screen up there. Uh, am I on the wrong side? I'm on the wrong side. You've got a screen over there. So nothing can get through that screen that's not small enough. So everything stays inside of this area be, be, until it's small enough to get through there. And these hammers are what do, do it. Now the other hammer, the other set of hammers is really bent. Look at that. And so these um, are a total loss. And so if you were to swing that around, the, uh, the fingers here are also bent. You can see there. So even if these were lined up, so you have to bend those back, try to bend these, and um, nah, might as well just replace those. And then of course the whole flywheel because there's no way to get the blade back on. And uh, you can imagine it's all out of balance right now anyway. But now the really scary part is how close we got inside here on the other side is where the chipper blades are. And those are really thick. Let me see if I can swing one of those around. Yeah, I think I can. Yeah, there we go. See that? Chipper blade in there. It's a thick piece of metal about a quarter inch thick, really stout, because that's what does the chipping on the heavy branches. But if you can see here how close it got to being a real serious problem, two of the bolts sheared off on that side, being held on by one, and then on this side, two of the bolts sheared off and being held on by one. It's in there. So. 
I came much, much closer to a really serious problem because if one of those flew out, that would have been just devastating. And they both got down to one bolt. So this is very, very eye-opening. Boy, look how mangled that is. The bottom of, with the anchor for the um, hammer on this side. Wow. That whole thing is bent. That just, that's what did it right there. I think that what happened, this is my CSI investigation. I think this is the way it happened. I don't think a branch got stuck in there because there was no branch in there. But um, I think what happened is all the vibration rattled this bolt out. I really do. I think that once it rattled that bolt out, then this was free to wiggle around. And it just, all it had to do was hit the slightest thing. And it would have a domino effect. Just everything would start hitting everything in there. And you would have something like what you got here. Um, I got really, really, really lucky, and I, I know it, guys. I know it. I hadn't realized it was this close until I did this. So ultimately, I think that the blade swung out a little bit, and then it caught the edge of the case here. This is the front of it. I think it caught the edge of the case in there, and that sucked that in, which intersected the hammer. The hammer anchor and then once the hammer started hitting the fingers and the blade the blade was must have been loose in there and was just hitting everything and then it either went out the bottom here because that's sliced wide open or it went out that hole in the side very fortunately it was on the other side of me wow type of thing that makes you want to want to take a break and not do anything for about a week and just think about everything that you're doing and yeah I know well I knew I was doing I was putting the stuff in there was too big and I know I horse around a lot but I mean there's seriously guys there's no amount of plastic bottles and soda cans that would have done this only only something really, really, really dumb like putting a one-inch oak branch or a rock or something in there would do this. So, If I can fix it, I'll probably still horse around with it a little bit, but I'll be definitely more careful now. Um, and that'll be the end of that. Problem being, I've been online looking for parts, and there aren't any. Let me go to the computer and I'll show you. Okay, I just wanted to show that from this angle, look at this here, look how far that's bulged out there. Just um, a lot of power, because it, it kept turning even with the, the blade cocked in there sideways. And it had enough power to just slice right through the bottom of it there and bulge this out. And then finally throw it out the, um, throw it out the hole. So, I mean, it's got a lot of power. It's The engine, of course, is still perfectly good. And so, you know, now starts the search for parts. Now, of course, this is the um, Stanley. There it is right there. So this is the CH7 from Stanley, and they don't make this anymore. I looked and looked. Definitely can't get one. And so... Um, Looking around at like all chippers, I happened to find right there at Home Depot. There we go. Okay, as you can see there, boy, we're getting a really bad glare. Let me do that. Okay. So that is it. That is definitely it. And they currently sell that, I think. Yeah. And so it does exist. It's made by a company called Brushmaster. Said it somewhere. 
um, anyway, let me um, change that picture there. There we go. Can you see that? That's definitely it. It's just called Brushmaster now. Right there. Brushmaster. And every part of it is, um, there's no question because I, you know, I've had this for a while. I know that this is the one. Uh, but the problem that I'm running into is that I can't find any replacement parts for Stanley or Brushmaster. I can't find this anywhere online. Um, and I have a lot of resources, e-replacement parts or parts tree and several other places. I, I can't um, find any... Um, I can find a couple of parts available for it, but for example, I can't find an entire flywheel assembly, which is what I need for sure. Um, I would need the... Um, need the whole flywheel assembly and I would need this front piece the whole front of the whole thing and then the bottom of the hopper so I need that piece and this piece from like those bolts towards me and then an entire flywheel assembly there you know the cars don't usually go by unless I'm filming, really. It's just crazy. But what I think that I'm going to end up having to do, I'm going to watch Craigslist and uh, see if I can find another one of these exact ones that somebody's selling for a song, or maybe somebody has blown the motor and the rest of it's still good and I can use those parts. Because um, I am just not going to buy a new one. I would like to find the parts so that I could see how much that's going to cost. But even better than that, I would like to find a used one that's mostly dead and I can just use the parts off of that. It would be great to find a whole one in terrible shape for a hundred bucks. Because I mean, who's going to do this? It's not going to have this same problem. Anyway, there's another car. As soon as I turn the camera off, they will stop coming by. It's guaranteed. No, uh, ice cream trucks either. Anyway, this is going to be the end of this video. This is something that happened. Um, again, you know, y'all can get a few jabs in, but it gets out of control. I'll disable the um, another car. Disable the comment section, but I'll leave the video up as a PSA as to why you don't put the uh, oak branches in the shredding hopper. This is exactly why. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope it was something to look at, and y'all have a good one.